San Diego Biotech announced promising new results today in its push to develop the first nasal drops for COVID. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on the data, suggesting this could be a powerful treatment for Omicron and future variants. Sorrento Therapeutics has been running phase two clinical trials on a nasal treatment for COVID since last summer called COVID drops. This low fill capsule would be filled about halfway with the antibody. But patient leans their head back and just drops into a, both nostrils. They've been testing it on volunteers in the UK, Mexico, and in the US. But since the arrival of Omicron, the San Diego company has been exploring an updated formula. And CEO Dr. Henry Xi says the latest results are promising. Our antibody is uh, 10 times or more than 10 times potent than the Sotrovimab. So Trovimab is an antibody infusion treatment for people in the early stages of COVID. It's currently the only monoclonal antibody that clinics have that still works against Omicron. But these treatments require medical staff and a lot of time. They have to be in an infusion center, and that is approximately three to four hours of time to get that. And it's using up infusion beds. And those infusion beds, they could be treating people with cancer. A nose drop would be given in about a minute. Sorrento says lab tests and animal experiments show their drug is not only stronger against Omicron, it's also powerful against all the previous variants. They'll have to prove that in human trials, but they say there are plenty of reasons to think that nose drops will be a better early treatment than a needle in the arm. Since we know Omicron tends to largely replicate in the upper airways, uh, our intranasal approach targets the virus exactly where it's, uh, you know, taking up housekeeping. Sorrento isn't alone. Several companies are trying to be the first to release a nasal treatment for COVID. The question is whether these drugs can stack up to other early treatments, like Pfizer's new antiviral pill, Paxlovid. Certain drugs can't be taken in combination with the Pfizer pill. The Pfizer pill is not available for kids not for pregnant women, all sorts of restrictions. This there would be no restrictions on. Sorrento is already testing COVID drops on kids in a clinical trial in Mexico, and they hope to start clinical trials on the updated formula in March. If all goes well, they say COVID drops could be on the market sometime this summer in the third quarter. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Sorrento says if the drug is approved, they can manufacture up to 1 million doses a month in house. They're in talks with companies that can produce up to 500 million doses a year.